I'll start answering that question by first explaining a little bit about what amyloid is. And amyloidosis is a problem where you have a normal protein that somewhere along the way, usually because of its blueprint changing, it turns into a very sticky protein. And these sticky proteins can start to accumulate in different organs of the body, eventually causing them to malfunction and fail. Specific to AL amyloidosis, this is a problem that is caused by abnormal plasma cells, very similar to the cells that we see in multiple myeloma. And the very specific protein that they secrete that's abnormal is the light chain component of the antibody molecule that they're supposed to make even when they're behaving normally. And so in AL amyloidosis, this light chain is made in a very abnormal way that causes the light chains to be very sticky and these sticky proteins accumulate into the organs, uh, again, causing them to malfunction and fail. So with respect to the question of the spectrum of organs that can potentially be involved, uh, in essence, all organs in the body can potentially be affected by these sticky proteins, these amyloid fibrils. Uh, the main organs that we really get concerned with, though, are the heart, so cardiac involvement, uh, and the kidney, and then to a lesser degree, the nervous system, and then from there, we talk about some other uh, odd manifestations like skin involvement, uh, blood vessel involvement, gastrointestinal involvement, and so on. Uh, so it becomes a major challenge, uh, and the spectrum of organs that we see involved really defines how patients come to us and the constellation of symptoms that, that they present with. With respect to the specific question of being able to, quote-unquote, scrub the organs clean of this amyloid, uh, this remains one of our biggest challenges in the field. Uh, to date, we have no uh, reliable ability to, uh, to remove the fibrils uh, using any kind of intervention or drug. Uh, so we're dependent on the body's ability to do this on its own. And this can happen over time, but of course it's contingent upon controlling the underlying problem, the plasma cell problem that we referred to earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, and it can only do so if that production of the sticky fibrils is shut off. In essence, we have to be able to turn the tap off first before we drain the bathtub. And draining the bathtub, unfortunately, can take many months to years uh, and isn't always reliable from patient to patient. So it remains a major barrier uh, and an area of active research.